This week, Greg's is launching a vegan steak bake. Just opens a new vegan protein factory, and computerized heart models could make animal testing obsolete. All this and more on Live Kindly's weekly vegan news. If you're new to our channel, you can subscribe by hitting the leaf icon in the bottom right corner of the video. Click the bell icon to turn on notifications. And please be sure to like and comment below. Swiss food giant Nestle will no longer produce dairy ice cream in the US. The world's largest food and drink company sold its ice cream business to Froneri for $4 billion. This includes brands including Drumstick, Hagen dazs and Dryers. Froneri is an international fast growth ice cream company started by Nestle and r, &R a unit of the French private equity firm PAI Partners, in 2016. This sale will consolidate Nestle and Froneri's portfolios to create one large market share. In recent years, Nestle has focused on premium products in high growth categories, including plant-based alternatives. The company has also sold off underperforming areas, such as dairy ice cream. Recent spins data reveals that the U.S. plant-based food industry is booming, now valued at $4.5 billion. Vegan milk makes up 13% of retail milk sales. Dairy-free ice cream saw a 66.7% increase in sales from April 2017 to April 2019. Taco Bell China launched Omnipork, a vegan pork that looks and cooks like the real thing, as part of a limited time offer. Omnipork was created by Hong Kong-based food tech brand Right Treat. It's made from shiitake mushrooms, pea protein, soy protein, and rice protein. Compared to traditional pork, every 100 gram serving of Omni pork contains 0 milligrams of cholesterol. Its saturated fat content is 86% lower than uncooked lean ground pork. The founder of Right Treat, David Young, also founded Green Monday, a Hong Kong based social venture group that promotes plant based food. It praised Taco Bell China for introducing the cutting edge vegan pork. I think in Asia in particular, you know, this game or this space is just beginning. It comes served in the Omnipork Crunchy Taco with Yu Xiang sauce. We are confident that this special promotional launch is the beginning of a long partnership between the Green Monday Group with Taco Bell, as well as other brands under the Yum China portfolio, Young said. Coming up, Just ramps up vegan protein production. The New Zealand government, led by Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, currently considers a number of factors when making major decisions, including human rights. Now, it will also consider the environment, according to Minister James Shaw. Decisions we take now and in the future about everything from the places we live, to how we get around, to public health, to how we relate to one another, will be impacted one way or another by climate change," Shaw said in a statement. It's crucial, therefore, that when we're making big decisions, climate change is at the forefront of our minds. We have to start moving beyond targets. We have to start moving beyond aspiration. We have to start moving beyond statements of hope and deliver signs of action. And that is what this government is doing. New Zealand has taken a number of steps to improve its impact on the environment. In November, it committed to reducing emissions to net zero by 2050. New offshore oil and gas exploration permits are now banned and the government has committed to planting 1 billion new trees in the next eight years. California-based food tech brand Just can now produce enough protein for 1.5 million vegan eggs in just six days at its new factory. Just recently acquired a 30,000 square foot facility and 40 acres of land in Appleton, Minnesota. The Dell D factory has been serving the food ingredient industry for the last 30 years. It has worked with Just to expand its protein extraction process over the past year, which is key to creating the Just egg. When the factory's owners considered selling off the facility, the California-based brand was the ideal buyer. The vegan liquid egg, which is cholesterol-free and made from mung bean protein, can be used to make traditional egg dishes including scrambles, omelets, and quiches. The Western Minnesota factory is now responsible for the majority of Just protein extraction. According to a press release, Just will continue to expand its footprint in Appleton. The Just egg is currently available in major retailers, including Walmart, Kroger, and Whole Foods. The company is also preparing for broad distribution across China, Hong Kong, and Singapore. 
To make our mission happen, we need to scale, Just co-founder and CEO Josh Tetrick said in a statement. Separating the protein from the bean requires talent, proprietary processing, and a supportive community. We found all that and more in Appleton. Cultured Fish Ma will be available in China by 2022. Hong Kong-based clean meat brand Ava Meats is developing cultured fish maw using fish cells for the Asian market. Fish maw is the dried swim bladder of a large fish. It's typically served in soup and Cantonese cuisine. According to Avant Meats founder Carrie Chan, demand for fish maw is unsustainable and is contributing to diminishing fish stocks. We have tasked ourselves to provide our consumers with very clean, healthy, sustainable, um, fish meat and fish meat product. According to Chan, with this technology, Chinese consumers can still connect to their food culture without causing as much harm to the ocean. She told Vegconomist last year, food is closely knitted with local culture. She added that Avant Meats tailors its products specifically for the food culture, preferences, and behaviors of consumers in China and in the region. According to researchers, computerized hearts are 20% more effective than testing on animals. Ethical, cost-effective alternatives such as this could put an end to medical animal testing. Last year, the Oxford University Computational Cardiovascular Science team announced that computerized models of the human heart predict side effects from medicine more effectively than animal testing. The research says that human in silico computerized trials demonstrate higher accuracy than animal models in predicting clinical proarrhythmic cardiotoxicity. The researcher's computer model was able to assess the risk of arrhythmias in human users with an 89-96% to 96% accuracy. In contrast, animal testing predicted risk with 75-85% to 85% success rate. We took 62 drugs such as painkillers, antihistamines, or antibiotics, many of which are on the market says lead author and senior researcher Elisa Passini, and we looked for biomarkers indicating the risk of arrhythmias in our simulations. We compared our results with what is known about these drugs. For example, there are reports of patients who have had a cardiac episode while taking these drugs. We compared our results with these reports, and that's how we calculated the accuracy. This means that using computer models in place of animals lowers the risk of side effects in future patients by 20%. Coming up. Senator Cory Booker proposes a moratorium on factory farming. Two dairy farms go out of business per day in Wisconsin. The Midwestern state produces more dairy than any other, but it is also leading the nation in farm industry bankruptcies. Experts attribute the increase in closures to economic challenges farmers are facing, specifically low prices due to supply outpacing demand. Patty Edelberg, the vice president of the National Farmers Union, told Yahoo Finance that many farmers struggle to pay their bills. Bankruptcies are up, says Edelberg. Wisconsin is attributed as the number one bankruptcy in the nation right now when it comes to dairy farmers. That number one is up, I think, 24% from last year already. We're losing two farms a day. According to the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection, 132 Wisconsin dairy facilities left the industry in May and June 2018. Between 2016 and 2018, Wisconsin lost nearly 1,200 dairy farms. The USDA also saw a 6.8% decrease in farms across the country in 2018. The overall number of dairy farms in the state has declined every year for more than a decade. In August 2003, Wisconsin was home to 16,264 dairy farms. Now, the total is 8,463. Senator Cory Booker is on a mission to shut down factory farming in the U.S. The New Jersey senator and Democratic presidential hopeful put forward a new bill earlier this month, titled the Farm System Reform Act, FSRA. The bill is aimed at transitioning agriculture away from the factory farming system. 99% of all animal products in the U.S. come from factory farms. These conditions are not only harmful to the animals, but they're a threat to the planet too. One farm of 5,000 pigs can produce as much waste as a town of 20,000 people, according to animal protection organization Animals Australia. This waste can pollute soil and make its way into water systems, including oceans, rivers, and streams. If passed, 
FSRA will place an immediate moratorium on new large-scale facilities known as CAFOs, confined animal feeding operations. It will also place limits on existing CAFOs. It will devote $100 billion over a period of 10 years to help CAFO owners transition to more sustainable forms of agriculture. By 2040, the bill hopes to phase out the largest CAFOs. Booker, a vegan since 2014, hopes the new bill will help small farmers and hold larger corporations accountable for their environmental impact. Large factory farms are harmful to rural communities, public health, and the environment. We must immediately begin to transition to a more sustainable and humane system, such as raising pasture-based livestock, growing specialty crops, or organic commodity production, he said. Greg's will be expanding its vegan range with steak bakes and glazed donuts. According to Metro UK, an insider, who wanted to be named only as Greg Greggs, told the publication exclusively of the upcoming vegan steak bake. My manager has shown me stock sheets with vegan steak bake written on them, ready for when our deliveries arrive, they said. Another whistleblower, who identified themselves as your secret Greggs man, informed Metro about new vegan donuts and veggie soup. They said, Releasing 27th December is the new glazed ring donut, which is now vegan, and our warm winter vegetable soup, which is now also vegan. That's it for today. What do you think about Greg's new vegan products? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll see you again next week for Live Kindly's weekly vegan news.